Frederick Louis Guttekinst, September 25, 1831, April 27, 1917, was an American photographer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He opened his first photographic portrait studio with his brother in 1854 and his business grew to national prominence during the American Civil War. He is known as the Dean of American Photographers, due to his high-quality portraits of the editor of the Dignitaries and Celebrities. He worked as the official photographer of the Pennsylvania Railroad and received national eventually. In this new factory needed to move out of Arch Street and up to 813 Girard Avenue where a staff of 10-foot long panorama under the supervision of the engraver, James P. Harbison, kept up with demand for reproduction for publication, his father, etc. Girard Avenue was a perfect location for this endeavor since this part of Philadelphia was more industrial and less retail than Arch Street. Some of the products of this venture were illustrations for books such as the biographical album of prominent Pennsylvanians, artistic houses, and artistic country seats published by D. Appleton & Co. of New York. Also, Guttekinst began to use what we would now call a panoramic camera which took a photo of 100 and 80 degrees and from which the studio could produce a print 36 inches in length. In 1885, he was elected as a member to the American Philosophical Society. On the morning of January 26, 1886, a fire started at 715 to 719 Arch Street, which burned down the five-story building at that address. Additionally, the fire spread across the street to the Guttekinst establishment and caused approximately $10,000 in damage. By 1893 Guttekinst had been in business almost 40 years and an additional studio was needed for the growing enterprise. The new studio was established in an upscale part of Philadelphia at 1700 N. Broad Street with William Brocher as manager. The success early in his career meant that he could move his home out of Center City, Philadelphia, and own a home on Pulaski Avenue in Germantown in Philadelphia. A year before his death Guttekinst incorporated his business and some of the older employees became stockholders. But Mr. Brocher resigned at that time. Frederick Guttekinst died April 27, 1917. Eight weeks earlier he fell down the steps of his N. Bouvier residence returning to his studio after lunch at home. This fall and Bright's disease seemed to have caused his death. He was interred at Laurel Hill Cemetery in Philadelphia. Demand for photographs. The Civil War turned Guttekinst. Photography studio into an extremely popular destination. Philadelphia was a major center for military deployment and soldiers would have their portraits made in their uniforms as a memento for their families before going off to war.